Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome to your introduction to buying Cardano native assets or buying tokens built on the Cardano blockchain. So with the rise of meme coins over the last few weeks, there's a lot of new people coming in wondering how they can get involved in buying tokens on Cardano. In this one, I'll take you through quickly how to set up a wallet, the DEXs, how to buy. We'll go through the buying process and some useful websites for checking out what's going on with charts and everything that's going on with the tokens. Even if you come in just to buy meme coins, I would say take a look around at some of the really solid projects building on top of Cardano because the process will be the exact same. Questions, let me know down below. I'll try and answer as many as possible. Share this out if you think others can benefit and subscribe if you're new. I do appreciate it. Let's jump into it. Okay, so if you're getting involved in trading Cardano native assets, then TapTools is going to become one of your most viewed websites. This is if you're coming in from other chains, then you'll be familiar with the Dex tools and TapTools is that version on Cardano. So when you come in, you get all the details about all the different tokens that are trading on Cardano. The trending up here as well, you can see NFTs. So you can go through all the NFT stats too. In another video, I'll dive deeper into this. And some of the use cases that are here because there's a lot going on underneath this when you get in and start to dive down through it so first up you're going to need a wallet if you're new into cardano one of the most popular ones you will see is nami it's not the one that i use day to day really much but in the nft community it is a very big and very popular wallet Another one you'll see mentioned a lot is Eternal Wallet. This is the one I use most days, but it is more complex than some of the other wallet options. So it's not the one I'm going to focus on here, but they are working on a V2, which will be a lot more simpler. The one that I would recommend if you're coming in new would be either Flint Wallet or Typhoon Wallet. Two really good wallets, very similar to MetaMask if you're coming in from other chains. So I'd say these two would be the two options for you. In this one, we're going to concentrate on Flint. You can see the website here and I'll put a link to this one down below. This one you can also use on mobile. So I'll do a follow up video looking at mobile and some of the other options you have there. But in this one, we'll install Flint on the Chrome store here. So we'll go add to Chrome, same as you would with any other extension, add extension. And it should install it and you see we get the i got the pop-up up up on the top right and now we have let's begin so flint wallet let's begin setting up choose your language whatever language you are continue help us improve so you can either send the stats or you can't for me these ones are okay they don't track ips or anything like that then you want to set up a wallet on the mainnet so click on mainnet at this point here if you have a ledger like I'm a big fan of using a hardware wallet so a ledger you could connect up your hardware wallet here so you would go in if we click on it select the one you want and then go through the process just keep clicking continue and it will add that into flint for the purposes of this i'm going to create a new wallet so we'll go create a new wallet this is the recovery phrase so if i was to copy out these words you can copy them out save them take them down somewhere and on the next screen you will be asked to put them back in again so i'm going to pause here while i do that so then you get something like this here where it asks you to put in the words that are missing from the 15 word seed phrase you were given on the previous page so if i fill these in here so you can see i have the words in then you set a password on your wallet Again, this can be anything you want. So create my wallet. So that is the spending password that you have set. You can also set a passcode on your wallet. So this is that anyone who goes to open it has to put in the passcode. This can be different to your spending password. So it's just if you want some extra security. For now, I'm going to say skip on that. There's the socials, Discord and Twitter if you want to join them. So click on finish you can see actually the website that's here is cardano scan this is one of the block explorers for cardano if you're getting deeper into it this is the site you're going to need and see explorer as well so these are like eat scan or eat explorer if you're coming in from ethereum or bsc scan from binance so then i see flint up here in the top right if it doesn't appear for you then just go into the extensions tab and pin it so I click on Flint and this is what I get. Like MetaMask, very similar. You have your total holdings. You have down the bottom, you have collections. So that'd be your NFTs, the activity, and then your settings, which we will go into in a few minutes when you're getting started with a Cardano wallet. There's something you need to set in there. 
up here too you can add in more accounts if you want so if i click add account it's going to add more accounts under the one seed phrase if i click add wallet then i can add multiple different wallets so that would be another wallet with another seed phrase or i could add in my hardware wallet here just like you have in metamask you have multiple different wallets under the same account so the next thing I need to do is send in some ADA into this wallet. So you go over here, click on receive. You can see in here, here is my receive address. That's the QR code. So if you're sending from your phone, then you can scan that and send it. Or if you're sending from an exchange or something, then this is the address you need to send to. So I'm going to copy this out here now and I'm going to send in some funds. Okay, you can see here now that I have some funds in the wallet. So $37. So that was 100 ADA that I put into this. And there's one thing you need to do now before you go over and start trading on the exchanges and that is go to settings and you need to set collateral so this is when you're interacting with the dApps or interacting with smart contracts on cardano you need to have collateral set this is one time thing you don't have to do this every single time so i go into set collateral here the information is about it but i want to make this one quick you can see right now there is no utxo fit for collateral so i need to send five ada to myself in this wallet to allow me to do that with the collateral there needs to be one utxo that has five ada on it so that's what we're going to do here sometimes with some of the other wallets i know with eternal there is an option that i can take it and sign the transaction and it will create it and do it for me there and then maybe at some stage flint might integrate that too but i'll send the five ada and come back here then okay that transaction is gone through now you can see in my activity transaction to self so go back into settings set collateral and then when i scroll down here now you can see that i have this option here to set this one as my collateral click confirm and your collateral input has been changed successfully so that means collateral is now set i don't have to worry about that again so that's the wallet all set up then and next is to actually go over and buy the tokens so for this you have a few different options on cardano right now the main decks or the biggest decks would be minswap it's the one with the highest tvl you also have wing riders muesli swap and sunday swap so depending on the token pair you want to trade then maybe some of the other ones have higher liquidity but for this we're going to use minswap as it's the most popular now in a year two years time when people might be watching this video i'm not sure what it's going to be but make sure you check out later videos on the channel to see what's the latest on cardano so if you come over to tap tools just to get an idea of what's going on and whatever pair you want to trade you can see the trending tokens for the last 24 hours are three different meme coins so at the minute sneak has over 10 million ada worth of volume in the last 24 hours which is way way higher than anything else so maybe we'll use that just for the purposes of this video and on tap tools when you click into any of the pairs you can see the trading chart so normally on a pair like this that has rocketed up like this i'll be very wary of buying into it but in this we're only going to use a small test amount just to show you how the dexes actually work so when you come in here then on the home page you have all of the top pools are listed down here or if you want to jump straight to trading click on trade and then this will be a very similar setup that you have on other dexes across other chains so we need to connect our wallet click on connect wallet click on flint and i get the pop up here it says it's going to connect to the flint or connect the min swap site to the flint wallet now it's not signing any transaction or it's not giving access to funds it's just giving read access if you have multiple wallets there then you can select them in the drop down click on continue wallet connected you can see my balance 99.83 ada after the small tx fee for sending the five ada to myself so what i want to trade from is i'm going to trade from ada and as sneak is the highest one in the last 24 hours we will go with sneak up here put in however much ada you want to trade let's put in 50 ada into this it's going to give me 100,000 of sneak down here you see the different details this is the minimum you are going to receive because this is an amm dex now you do have the option to put in limit orders but we're just going with the market order for now market is execute at the best possible price potentially you'll get some slippage i have a slippage tolerance of one percent if you want to change that do it up here under this and you can select whatever slippage you want or put it in manually the price impact very small as there, this is a highly liquid pair and i'm only trading a small amount 
liquidity provider fee same across dexes on other chains so the batcher fee this is different to other chains this is two ada that is paid to the off-chain batchers that batch all the transactions and it's just due to the way that cardano works the two ada deposit that's something that is sent initially and you get that back with your transaction so that's not a fee you do get that one back click on swap once you're happy with all of that click on confirm swap you get the pop-up up here to sign the transaction put in the wallet password send and that is my transaction submitted so you can see it's submitted here i could view on explorer i'm just going to close that for now up on top here i can click into this i can see this is the pending transaction it's actually been scooped so the transaction has just gone through already i think let's look at orders you can see it's queued up now ready to be executed so when we looked at it initially there's a big order queue there but that one should go through fairly quickly i hope this has been a help an introduction to trading on cardano any questions do let me know down below make sure you take a look around cardano at not just the meme coins but everything that's been built on top of cardano let me know reach out if you have questions i'll cover it in different videos subscribe if you're new i do appreciate it talk to you soon